Mike, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweep from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them. From the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. Well, this is exciting here, at DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers really of mixed martial arts, Bruce Lee, is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting! the blue corner. This man is a boxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. The body snatcher. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. A nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? So here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a slight advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is going to be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Punch over the top. 
Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Left hand is good. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, nice! Oh, big left! Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Another head kick lands. He's got to start blocking these, DC. One more, and it could be lights out. It could be over, and most people would be sleeping on the mat after taking such a dominant strike. Credit to his chin, but you don't want to get kicked that many times in the head. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, big shot land. Beautiful job to lead with the right hand there, DC. The right hand is the money shot, and he will continue to throw it. Connects with the right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Round two next. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. Last round. Got the better you with the striking. You're better than he is. You need to start using your boxing. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. Ready? A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick and watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's going to shut your body off. Lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly is. All right, single collar tie now. Notice the drive. Look at how he drive the knee right into the midsection. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. with that one. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Nice punch here. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, a huge block there. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Straight right, he misses. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Here to the body. Oh, nice right hand. And we got a fight on our hands. Whoa! He's hurt. He's hurt. Whoa! Oh, oh. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. 
Lands the ground and pound strike. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round. Oh! Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout, and that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, so a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta calls a stop to this contest at 40 seconds of the third round. You're playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. I'm asking the producers 